So to test our auto hotkey installation, let's run a quick script. So to do that, we'll use Notepad. So open up your Notepad and write common commands. Run Notepad.exe. So that will open up Notepad, and then we'll send some text to Notepad. Send hello world. Mission mark. Now have to save that file, save it anywhere you like, and the file Hello World and it must have the extension though AHK. Dot AHK, save that. If you double click it, it's open notepad, but it hasn't sent the text Hello World. So what's happened? The reason that's happened is I've done it deliberately to show you something that happens quite regularly, and that's because the script has run faster than Windows can respond. So in this case, the Windows application to respond is Notepad, and it's ran the command run Notepad, and then it's run immediately afterwards send hello world text to the application. But there's been a delay, just a fraction of a second when it opened Notepad. So it's run this script before Notepad's opened. So it's an easy way to remedy that. And that's just to put in a delay by using the command sleep. Sleep and 500 milliseconds should do it, which is half a second. If we save that, get rid of this old window, double click Hello World again, and it opens up with hello world. Now the exclamation mark's missing. So why is that? Usually we use curly braces to send special characters literally and the exclamation marks are special character. Um, what do I mean by special characters? Special characters have reserved and a distinct meaning in auto hockey, not the no meaning we normally use in English language. So we get that and round that, use curly braces, save that. And then run the script again. Now you've got the exclamation mark. So let's try another common and ubiquitous use case of uh, auto hotkey is the actual hotkey, which auto hotkey is named after. So in order to do that, you create one of a sh keyboard shortcut. In this case, we'll assign a carrot key, which is this uh, kind of hat symbol, which is in English keyboards or UK key keyboards, it's above the six, and so that stands for control. That particular symbol, so the control key on your keyboard, and we'll use G as our so it's control G, it's our keyboard shortcut. And if you put double colon and then ask, tell it to do something, which we'll say is. Open up a message box window and send the text hello world again. This time we don't need the curly braces because it's a auto hotkey window, so we don't need to treat it like a special character. If we save that and run it, nothing happens until we press Ctrl G. And there you've got hello world. So another thing. It's worth knowing when you've got auto hotkey scripts running, it'll appear in your system tray as a green icon and you can right click it and exit it. That way, if there's any sort of confusion about what scripts you've got running, you can always start with a clean slate by deleting it in the system tray. In this lesson, we've wrote our first AHK script. We've made the script run notepad and send some text to it. We fix the script that runs too fast by using the commonly used sleep command to make the script run at the speed we want. We've also used a hotkey command that we can use to create keyboard shortcuts. At the moment, we've done it in the simplest way possible by using Notepad as our code editor. This was deliberate just to show you how simple you could go to make things work. But I know lots of you will be thinking that isn't too slick. So later on, we'll be using the free VS Code Editor to write scripts more quickly, with the added bonus of looking far more attractive.